with all the improvements in technology and management skills across the world and particularly in our country what do you think has happened in the last 50 and odd years have we become more efficient effective customer oriented service driven helpful to each other i think these are all some of the questions that kept bothering me and they still bother me they bother me because unfortunately when i look at my 70 years of existence in this world i come to the conclusion things have gone from bad to worse in spite of all the technology we have and in spite of all the management knowledge we have skills we have and improvements we have gained sometimes i wonder how come our human development index which indicates that people in our country have the capability to live happily live longer and have the required skills to make their own quality of life good is pathetically poor it's something like 137 rank among 184 and out countries today and in 1990 it was something like 90th rank out of some 110 countries so we continue to be pathetic in our human resource development as a nation people don't know how to live longer although we are living longer as compared to the rest of the world we still are far behind I take a simple example of uh, the consequences of uh, wonderful management technologies we have. It is almost about uh, 50 and odd years since the Indian Institutes of Management were established and large number of management schools exist today. With all the management that we have, what is happening to the managing of our products and services? I'll give an example. In 1980s, when I went and bought a simple equipment, maybe a refrigerator, or maybe a television set, or an air conditioner, I simply had to go to the shop, look for the price, maybe select whatever brands were there, and then tell the pay the money, and that is the end of the story. I don't have to do anything. The person there in the shop who sold the equipment made sure that the equipment is delivered to me on time. It is installed and it is uh, a demonstration is given. It starts functioning and then he would call me up to say is everything is okay. So he provided integrated services. Now I am talking of 1980s when management was still in its earlier stages. Now today, so many years after big management impact that we have had, technological impact we have, information technology we have, everything is available online and everything is possible to be connected through SMS and so on. You cannot get the services any, anywhere near the level that we got in 1980s. For example, if I want to buy, buy a television set or exchange my television set, I go to the shop and I have a large variety. I have a lot of choices to make. Sometimes the fellow there is there is not able to explain. He specialized that he can only explain one particular model of the TV, not the other models. If I ask for another model, he says, let me call my colleague. In the same shop, if they are selling a refrigerator, there is another salesperson for that. Our specialization has gone so much that for every small product and a brand, there are special salespersons. Okay, now you finally decide after all this survey and all the choices that are available to you, you finally decide to buy a particular product. The salesperson who sold the product promptly takes you to the billing counter and then he disappears. Now his job is over, he sold. The job of the billing counter begins. The billing counter person again is specialized. The billing counter person, if you want to pay on credit card, will refer to another person. If you want to pay in cash to another person, and if any other form, a third kind of a person and so on. So there is no integrated service there. Okay, you paid whatever you wanted to pay. And then you are happy that you bought this. Then you are told that uh, this will be delivered uh, in a day or two. 
Sometimes I think under pressure they tell you, sir, by the evening it will be delivered. And you can be rest assured most of the time it doesn't arrive by the evening. And then if you insist on it and if you call them up and say the product has not come, they say, we are sorry, sir, we can't help it because this is now out of our hands. We have informed the, the uh, warehouse or we have informed the place. And then you, at best, you can give you the number of the warehouse. And if you call the warehouse, they, they tell you, we are only a warehouse here. We cannot, the service engineer is different. The people who manage are different and things of that kind. So you have to keep chasing until the time the product ultimately arrives. And to your surprise, you will discover the television or the refrigerator, whatever you bought. It arrives, maybe if you are lucky on time, otherwise maybe a 24-hour delay. It arrives to your place and after it arrives, it is dumped there in wherever, whatever is the point that you say. Then you tell them that, look, now we'll fix it up. They say, sorry, sir, my job is only to deliver. So the fellow delivers. The fellow who puts the piece into the delivery van is different. The fellow who comes to your house to deliver is different. Then all that he says is gives the chalam, takes your signature and goes back. Then you kept wondering and then you keep on calling up. And if you call up the agency which sold you, they say, we are sorry, now you only can contact the company concerned. And I will give you a 1-800 number, which I think will keep on directing you to, if you uh, want a particular product, press 1, another product, press 2, if you have a complaint, then press 3, and so on and so forth. It takes almost about sometimes as much as 5 to 10 minutes to identify and locate the right kind of a person who can give you the right information. And in between, I think it can get quite often cut off. So finally, suppose you succeed in getting access to the person who is supposed to come and install. And the fellow finally comes, some great gentleman appears with all his paraphernalia and installs the particular kind of products. And then recently I discovered that while installing a, a, a water filter, he discovered that the inside of one of the uh, jars is broken. And he said, this is a very common thing. Then I asked him, well, how come that if it's a common thing, you don't carry an extra jar? He says, that's not my department. Then he said, I'll have to inform the person concerned. There is another sales, a, a service engineer who fixes along with the broken jars and so on. I will inform him and he will come and fix it. And that fellow who is supposed to come never came. So this chap who is supposed to fix the thing, simply mounted the water cooler on the uh, in the kitchen and went away uh, with the broken part kept inside the water cooler. And for two days we had nobody coming to service this. We kept on phoning and phoning and ultimately I think another gentleman came to sort it out. So you have the delivery person different, the installation person different, the service engineer different and after that uh, but they were all very prompt in conducting online surveys. You will immediately get a call. Are you satisfied with our service? Now, the call could be as well from a, a, a BPO. Uh, may deal with the delivery service or may deal with the product service or may deal with anything. So, any product that you buy, the specialization is so much. The outsourced agencies are so many. I have a feeling that every product has at least a dozen outsourced agencies and when you buy a product you have to deal with 12 different people even then you are not very sure if the item on which you have spent so much of money uh, is uh, is to your satisfaction is working is the kind of a thing you wanted and uh, so on. So this is the impact of the great management development that we have had in the last several years. And we keep talking of quality and we have uh, all kinds of methods to ensure quality, ISO standards. Now we have methods to ensure service quality. We have methods to ensure technological methods to ensure quick response time and things of that kind. But you don't be surprised. It takes at least about four to five times longer time today than what it was about 30 to 40 years ago. Now, when I think of all this, I keep wondering what has happened to our country. I think we have gone more and more divisive and divisive and divisive. We divided ourselves. We divided first into, if you, if you look at it as a nation, we have divided ourselves in so many ways. 
we are divided into states, states are not happy, linguistic states are not happy, so they wanted further division and then again they wanted further division in that, then you divide by district, you divide by blocks, you divide by caste, you divide by community, you divide by religion, everywhere there is divisiveness. And it's not only in the society, it's in the organizations there is divisiveness. And outsourcing has improved. Outsourcing has enhanced this divisiveness because everything is now outsourced. There are dozens and dozens of agencies. The right hand does not know what the left hand does. The left hand does not know what the right hand does. And therefore, integration is your job. You as a customer will have to integrate. I have a feeling that this tragedy is spreading also into the medical profession in health sciences. The specialization is so much, the person who treats your lungs uh, cannot treat your uh, heart, cannot treat your uh, abdomen, cannot treat your uh, liver, cannot treat your kidneys. He says, I am only a lung specialist. And you have therefore a kidney specialist, even in kidneys there is a specialist and so on. And sometimes whatever interventions they make, it affects other organs. And then you have to run from pillar to post, quite often from one ICU to another ICU only to meet your end and so on. So this is the story of divisiveness in our country. We have divided, we have specialized, we have grown, but I think we have deteriorated. We have not improved anything. Life has become much more difficult. Life has become much less enjoyable in terms of getting the services, products and everything on time. So I think it is high time that we promote a lot of integrating people integrative mindsets, integrated management, integrated health services, integrated medical services, and even integrated kind of an education and so on. What do you think? These are just my thoughts. I thought let me share my agony and thoughts because it's a pity if our country uh, has to go in this kind of a divisive way uh, that for everything we have to spend enormous amounts of time. Our transaction costs are going to go up and we are going to continue to get a very bad name as a nation. With high potential, it's a pity that if we can't make use of it. What do you think? I just like to have your views.